Tableau versus Power BI series is exploring feature by feature how to do same things in Tableau and Power BI. So subscribe to channel and watch each and every video to see how to do similar kind of things in both the tools. Hello and welcome to another video of Tableau versus Power BI. Now it is uh, quite some time that I have done a video on this series and I'm back with the another video. And the reason for that is for quite few days, you are asking on Power BI forums, how do we, you know, use the Tableau's context filter concept in Power BI? Now, first of all, we need to understand what is this context filter or the filter context in Tableau. And then we have to replicate in Power BI. The concept is coming from Tableau and we have to replicate it in Power BI. So let's jump into the uh, Tableau. And what I've done here is basically I went to the... Uh, a tableau website and i search for what is this context filter or filter context what is this so context filters is something which we are planning to use here very specifically so there is an example given here so now what happens in tableau is that you know the parameters are independent so their ship mode and this region has been added here and they are two independent one means they are not impacting each other so what happens here is uh, we go ahead and here and we create a top and filter so we create a top and filter and start displaying some 10 you know uh, things now then later on but we go here and you know create a filter on category now instead of showing to top 10 for the furniture it actually starts showing me top 3 because what is happening is this top n is still calculating on subcategory top n is still calculating on subcategory keeping the initial categories so the initial categories are still there. So I am not getting my top 10. I'm still getting top three only. But when I go and say, you know, include in the context, I start getting more. So I start getting, you know, the numbers. So we'll take up an example to explain you this in Tableau. And then we will go back and see in Power BI. Now Power BI, it's always included in context. We have to remember and we, I'll show you that, you know, how it is always remembered in context. Now, also you have to remember that these are not exact same thing in two tools they are behaving differently in this case so you can achieve the same things you only need to know what you want to achieve then you will be able to achieve better in power bi or tableau instead of comparing these features like apple to apple okay so let's go to tableau and try to understand this feature so I have this Tableau public, uh, which is I have for some time and I have shown you in the Tableau public series. Uh, we have used this into Tableau versus Power BI series for some time. Now I'm going to create a new sheet here and I'm going to take up an example of uh, state and city. I'm going to create it. Now, when we go to Power BI, there are, could be certain more changes which are going to come out there. So let's come go ahead and do that. Now I bring in here in my visual state. I bring in city and let me convert it into a table visual and let me bring in net okay so I got a net also let me filter this out so now I removed it now geography I go and add the city also okay so now it comes to filters and I hit state and I say apply and I say city again it will open I'll say apply okay and let me do one thing let me also right click and say show filter and I think state should do I will not show the geography city now I go here in the geography city and I say edit filters and I say top 20 top by field top 10 net sales sum so I want top 10 net sales sums apply so I got top 10 with the combination of state and city you can see these top 10 okay so the city which you state which you see here is California New Mexico Oklahoma, Tennessee, and Wisconsin. Okay, Wisconsin. Now, let's go ahead and 
remove all the filters nothing is there because nothing is selected now we select alaska nothing is coming now i would have expected in a day that i will get top 10 if alaska contains top 10 let's say california has a lot of cities now but look at this california i'm only getting five are there only five cities in california there could be more cities in california which we have in our data let's add colorado for say there should be some cities added arizona for say some more cities should get added still we are not getting top 10 and the reason we are not getting top 10 because state is not included in the context so we go here we right click on the state and we say add to context once we add to context now we are seeing 10 cities now let me you know select alaska and remove everything else now now alaska is only one entry if with us you see only one entry of alaska the moment i add arizona arizona also start contributing to top 10 i add california california also start contributing to top 10 now i may have more than 10 but i'll keep on getting 10 i am adding it means the filter is getting honored and it is getting inside my top 10 so in the top 10 the filter is included and now the context has the now the city which is filtering top 10 has the state inside it and because of that we are able to get that top 10 cities state city combination here and we are able to get it now same thing if we need to do it on power bi let's try to do it in power bi the the one which you are seeing right now is something which should be by default so we go to power bi and we try to create the same visual there so in power bi again this is the same thing which i am using in my abstract thesis series and the comparison video of tableau versus power bi sales data used in video is the file available on my git account if you want to take it okay now this is the same model which is also here now let's bring in geography tables from there let's bring in state and bring in city make a table visual out of it and let's put net okay we are done very happily done let's bring in state as a slicer also on the page we can use the filter from here now if you say okay we were doing something different there or we can have a slicer i'll prefer a slicer here now top 10 i'm going to do from there only so and let me create a little bit of space because now what i'm going to do here is i will go to city and i'll go to advanced filtering and i'll go to actually top n in the top n i'll say top 10 and then i'll drag this major net there and i see apply i see 10 and if you see here if i say all here the same thing we are getting here okay the same thing same data same thing will come okay now let me filter alaska here i get one row of alaska see i go here and i filter alaska i get one row i got one row when i have this add the when it is added to context but in pi in power bi by default it is added to context and removal of context is something little bit different in power bi for removal in context i actually need a major a major where i have the ranks for city and state combined now another thing which we need to consider here like i'm going to create a rank if i create a city rank every city will rank itself inside the state the moment i put it into the visual okay so if i have a simple city rank let me see if i have a major let me see is it on city yeah this is a major which is on city and let me remove the filters and let me show you how this rank is going to behave see you don't see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this is a city rank on geography 
so it's not showing the 10 because the moment you have included state along with the city the city start showing the rank inside the state because only we have used all geography city so i need a different kind of a rank and i need to use that rank as a filter and i'm going to have a duplicate visual for this so i can duplicate this visual and i may remove this rank column so i'll remove it right away now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create a new rank first of all and that's where i say in power bi approach is as a power bi problem in tableau approach is a tableau problem what is your problem and what solution you want is more important sometime when you are switching from these two so let's create a rank which is state and city and we'll do rank x all now they are from the same table so i will be able to do this all geography city and all geography state and if you need it across table i have a video on my channel how to do it across table so please go ahead and watch that then we say net i'm creating a rank here then i leave the third argument descending and i'll say dense also now if you are a tableau person looking at this rank please watch the rank comparison video in power bi it is not a visual rank it's always or table level rank or table data level rank it's different it's based on the columns it's altogether different okay so you have to approach it differently so now we got a rank which is combined rank and in the second visual i bring in this rank first of all to show you what is it, what it is okay so you can see and let me sort it descending right now so you can see that you know we have this top 10 things which is coming in okay let me sort a net here so that you, you see the similar kind of values okay california new mexico and all those values are coming okay now here also you are seeing these values now previously we have sorting like this state and then the rank state and shift and rank rank we need ascending okay something like this now here i am using the combine also no we need 10 we are getting 10 now what we are going to do here is now we included this rank into this visual now i remove this filter top 10 net by city okay and i go here and i say rank state city now i'm not asking for top 10 i'm going to say is less than or equals to 10 and i say apply now when i apply the arizona filter here I don't see anything. I don't see anything when I apply Alaska filter because this rank, the way we calculated this rank is saying all state, all city, ignoring all the filter on the state and city, build up the rank. Now in Power BI, once I remove this state, these all state in the context, they are not available for display in the visuals. We have to take a different approach to do that. So because of that, we need to take help of a major which can give us a rank or a top end something like that on the entire data set and then we use that as a filter so that's why we have so when we want to exclude actually in power bi we actually has to create a major and exclude it now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take one more example to make this thing a little bit clear so we will take this these actually let's duplicate this and i am going to call it top end exclude include okay now i'm going to create now you you have seen that you know in power bi the ranks and the top ends are a little bit different and uh, so what you are going to do here is basically i'm going to create top n now top n and i want to control not by the filters here now this is this filter i don't want here and same way this filter i don't want here i just want to control this thing by basis now there we controlling by filters i want to control this by majors and I'm, let's see can we do that so i'm going to quickly create two majors and watch my top end video if you uh, want it to go into the more details of that so top end all state and city this is the first major i'm creating and i'll say calculate net and please pay attention to the top end so top end i'm going to provide top end here and in the values first thing i provide 10 i require 10 the second one is the table which I want. So here I'm going to use uh, summarize and I'm going to choose all 
or I could have used all geography sales, but I'm using it like this sales. You can use it across dimensions. So that's why let me prefer using this all geography state and geography city. I'm done with this and I need to close this all actually here. So I got this. The next argument which I require for top n is net basically order by the order by action is descending. I got my top n, but it, this is not going to work unless I give values. So I need to give values, geography, city and geography state. I need actually city. So let me go ahead and correct this out. So comma values geography city. Now in the first one, I'm going to remove everything rank and this one and let me take this top so now we only got top 10 now once we got the top 10 cities let me put a filter and check it out this is working perfectly fine i'm only getting it because of 10 if i have california i'll get only these four five cities now i'm going to copy this major and i'm going to create a new major now and i create a new major which is basically top and state city, not all, I'll say all selected. And here, instead of all, I say all selected. And I got a new major. And in the second visual, now I'm going to remove these two things. And I'm going to add this all selected. And let me filter on Alaska now. I get a value here, I don't get a value here. See, in Power BI, the controlling of the context can be given into the hand of majors. We can control it from there. This time around, I did not went to the filter, did not say top and I created two top and major. One include the context, another one not include the context. Another, so that's the thing which you have to remember that what is your problem? What solution you want? Just focus on that and try to achieve in Power BI, in Power BI way, in W, in W way, the things could be a little bit different. So go ahead and try this out Do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Get involved. Keep asking questions in comments. Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification of our new video. Keep watching.